Hello and welcome back, my fellow Dawi. Grab your Bugmans, get your grudges ready, and let's get things started tonight. We're going to have a Brightstone mine. We need to build us a Mount Gun Bandit. It's a special uh, building that gives us a lot of income and increased golden idol, and then you get a re reduced upkeep for artillery units, which is nice because we're using a lot of them, and it also buffs in income trade tariffs. Very powerful building. Um, there is also a golden idol trade that's available here, which we would certainly want to take advantage of. I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to tear that down and put Oath Gold in its place. I'm going to tear this building down and build the the gold mine there. So we can, we can get a huge income out of Mount Gunbad. Uh, this building really doesn't belong there either, so I'm going to tear that down. Um, I think I'm close to ending this turn, if I remember right. I believe we've moved all the armies that can move. That is correct. Ulrika, and we have like a, another agent moving around. So yeah, Ulrika is, is trying to find her way over to this army. And then we had an engineer that was following out here to get with Ungram. Okay, yeah, let's just continue that. Um, so we've made our moves. We do have some agents that were injured. Uh, this one's a really high level slayer the hero we should bring him back into like ungram's army as well whenever he's back that'll be a certain number of turns there so we will keep an eye on that all right let's see building upgrades available um storm vrack mount we're getting some more uh oath gold which is always good stuff i think um since the public order here is good and we don't have any immediate threats there i might actually just do this thing that increases growth um yeah, at least I think that's what we'll do for now. Keep the public order high. And what else? Do I just uh, let's see. We're building upgrades. Let me go look through. I remember we were tearing some stuff down in certain places. Let's go see if we just have empty buildings. Yeah, like right here at Crack a Drac. This is our capital, of course. Be cool to have like a bunch of really neat recruiting. There is a tier four building we can do in Crack a Drack. We just don't have the cash for it. It's a pretty nice building, actually. We might want to cut another building from construction and go ahead and do that one as well. Dead Rock Gap. I mean, probably not like the end of the world. If we finish this first, let's cancel that that's not quite enough to get me where i want to go i want to tear that down too we're going to put oath gold in and then let's see what else we're building that we can wait on we have a tier three thing right there we can wait on let's go ahead and start building this one because it's going to give us income and then i want to put in an oath gold building here as well i want to really crank that oath gold you also get income out of those buildings so honestly it's a pretty nice trade you get oath gold and income um, so it's really not a bad deal there. Let's go with the control here because we need to get that province under control and let's go ahead and end our first turn, get our movement points back. Um, is, in order to win this, we need to win some more expedition battles. Um, so we've got to engage the Skaven leader's force um, or we've got to interact with a marker to get this one. I don't know Skaven scheme. Where is that marker at? I wish it would take me to it. Uh, let's go down here. Skaven. Fight five battles against Skaven. Flaming cannon ammunition for thunder barges? Whoa, 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 whoa. Interact with the marker. Why won't these take me to the marker? It's so annoying. I hate this. Just take me to the marker. Like, where's the marker? Okay, there we go. Thank you. Goodness sakes. All right, we're not that far away from it, actually. We, Ungram could head down there and interact with that marker. Okay, well, we definitely want that because if it's better ammunition for our Thunder Barges, then of course we want it. Okay, we got through our turn end. We have a big army led by Skarsnik that's coming after us. We still got a pretty easy chance to win this battle. Um, I'll probably go ahead and have to do that soon. We did pick up a Siege Tower. I'm going to continue the siege for now. The reason I want to go ahead and fight that one is because with that other army headed our direction, we're going to want to be able to fight back. Um, we might be able to move underground over there with Ungram, though. Let's go ahead and take this. We have some 
ogres over here as well. All of which are enemies. Let's go ahead and take control of this goblin settlement here at Mount Silver Spear. It's got marble. Um, we can try and continue to increase our trade output. I'm going to swap that for Oath Gold and trade goods. Um, we've got a lot of cash. We've got a lot of things to do. I've got these two armies making their way over to make war on the ogres and probably against the um, chaos dwarves over here as well. Let's move up here. Get ready to get in the way of that vampire army. I can't quite get underground here, so I'll do this, and then we'll move underground again. Um, and then garrison or not move. Okay, this one's going to be Malachi up here. And yeah, Bellacor, I guess, got pulled into Sigvald's faction. I'm going to... Scooch up here and challenge him. Thorgrim's army can just move underground in order to keep from taking attrition. There we go. And we'll just continue the pressure on Sigvald's army. Let's go over here. Oldis took out the Beastmen, I believe. I don't think they're factions around anymore, so he cleared up the issue behind our lines. So that's good. He just needs to meet up with Ulrika and then they need to find a place to start working. Where is Ulrika anyway? She was moving that direction. Here she is. Let's uh let's start moving them together. Can almost get them together there. Volcanoes are crystal spires, so. Tower flies. Where's the crystal spire? Okay, over here to the east. All right, let's go ahead and put a refectory in here to help with the public order, and then let's spend some money to upgrade this settlement. Go ahead and grab that extra oath gold there as well. I tore down some buildings. I believe that we were working some stuff back here by Mount Gunbad. Yeah, um, we can get quite a bit of oath gold now as well. So let's grab that oath gold and. What else do I really want to get here? We'll grab the Oath Gold. Probably just defenses. And then let's see what we can do here. We can get the extra gold. And then we can put in an Oath Gold building there as well. And we can throw in some more Oath Gold here. So we can really start cranking out some Oath Gold. I want to just get ridiculous amounts. Right now we're getting 341 per turn. We're up over 1,000 again. Let's go take a look at our research and see whether we want to knock down one of these. I think we probably do want to go ahead and get this one. Our thousand oath gold. And then we need to do a lot of forging as well. And let's see. This is a skill point for Ungrim. He's got Tactician, Grimnir's heirs. This, so oh yeah, yeah, no, this one's good. Oh, we could upgrade Gyros and Thunder Barges even more. That'd be fun too. See this Morgrim's favored here. <clears throat> and then we'll do Dawe Firepower. Well, yeah, we'll do Morgrim's favor. Dawei Firepower is not going to make as much difference, but we <clears throat> we do need a Thunder Barge in each army. So I feel like Ungrim needs a Thunder Barge. We're going to have to figure out when we're going to have a chance to recruit it. I'm going to save part of my cash, skip the outpost, and end another turn here. Um, and we'll also need to go interact with that marker. All right, Greasy Gold Guts, send an army after us. Um, we're not probably... Well... I don't think we can win this unless it's an actual settlement battle. Well, it is a settlement battle, but they're going to attack me from like all four sides and I'll have to defend and it's just going to be a big pain in the butt and waste a lot of time. They're going to beat us there. We'll get it back. It's annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Um, we did have gemstones there, which again, pretty valuable. So again, annoying, but not the end of the world. Uh, we got those armies moving that direction. So the ogre's time on this earth is limited and we will be cutting them down to size soon, which is really saying something because they are a rather large size. So cutting them down to size would, would be good. We're going to put them on a diet plan, except the diet is all axes. Um, here's Skarsnik coming in, getting his goblin schemes together. Not surprised that he came back to town rather quickly. Uh, sure. Take that and the, oh, well, the beastmen are still alive. All right, well, that's where we got to head with that army then. 
How annoying. They must have had two armies. So, not surprising because they were over there alone for a while. Got a Thane over here. Wait, where is this guy at? That's the level 26 Slayer. Let's take a look at Ungrim's army real quick. Yeah, we should send that to Ungrim's army. Actually gonna send him down this way, I think. I want this engineer, or this Thane I don't need really right now. Let's get rid of the Thane for now. I'm gonna put the engineer down here. I've got that hero headed that direction. Wow, we got so much Oath Gold that turn, so really doing well there. I'm going to move Ungram underground. Really? I can't get over here? Like, it seems stupid that I can't move here. That is it's so dumb. I feel like we should be able to reach there. What happens if I do the... No. All right, well... I guess that's as far as I can move is right there on this turn, so I'll go ahead and move up there. Mount Silver Spear, let's grab the marble, and then again, just gonna throw some Oath Gold. And I do have Grombrendel's army over here at Karazakarak. We're kind of just sieging them and making some progress on whittling them down. We've got two siege, um, siege towers now. I don't really want to fight these guys in the walls, and I don't really think we would have to, to be honest. The Thunder Barge could do quite a bit of the work, though they do have multiple archer units. They're going to have towers and stuff as well that would be annoying. Um, it wants to kill one of my dwarf warriors. I'm going to just take the siege another turn here and just kind of wipe out some more greenskins while we keep them sieged in. Let's head over to Malachi. We can fight Belakor here. He might run away. I mean, I would if I were him. He is going to run away. I don't really want both of these armies headed the same direction. I can actually still reach the Palace of Princes down here. Let's go there. And then we'll kill Belakor with our other army. So we're going to occupy Palace of Princes. These are not great settlements here. But we will make them work one way or the other. All right, Thorgrim, let's give a beating to Mr. Shadow Demon here. Can't even fit his wings on the screen. This ought to be fun. All right, I'm going to start shooting Belakor immediately. I'm going to try and spear him, too, with the great spear of Grunk. Oh, that's a Manticorp. Let's, let's not engage that in melee. That's not going to go well for us. All right, I'm going to pull that Manticore back to the loving arms of our Grudge Rakers. And let's see if we can spear Bellacor. He is on the move. I don't know how accurate. Oh, it hit. Oh, and then it landed in those demonettes. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. That works for me. Good spear. Jack these guys up a little bit. And then let's... All right, sorry, I'm going to pause it real quick. Um, I probably should have been cannoning Bellacor immediately. And I still could. I'm going to go ahead and give him a targeting. And I'm going to move my gyros to the sides of my grudge rakers to try and maximize their capability. Whoa. Oh, it was a piece of magic. I was like, what in the world beat up our grudge rakers so much? And then I realized that it was a pendulum, I believe. All right, there we go. Yeah, Bellacor's going to get some big chunks taken out. Look at the Grudge Raker's going to drop that Seeker Chariot. All right, we're going to Grudge Rake Bellacor. Oof, he got cannoned up real good. Oh, the Grudge Raker's took a big chunk out of him as well. Things not looking good for the once mighty Bellacor. Oh, yeah, he's going to get shotgun straight out of the air like the little harmless dove that he is. There he goes. I'm going to turn these gyros around. And let's just start ripping into these. In oh, let's move our grudge rakers, by the way. Oh, actually, nope. They don't need to. Everything's running away. Just leave them out there and let them keep shooting. We've just got this unit of rotting riders coming our way, which sounds absolutely disgusting. I'm going to move these guys. 
I'm gonna gun down these rotting riders here. The regiment of renown, yeah, we should be able to gun them. I don't know why your guys are waiting so long to fire. There they go. Oh, the Manticore is attacking me over here. That's cool. It's actually not cool, but you know, should be uh, ceasing its attacks soon because the enemy has been utterly defeated. Um, and speaking of utterly defeated, let's uh, shoot the Manticore in the butt on the way out the door just for good measure. Make sure we don't have to deal with it again. I love Grudge Rakers. They are very short range. But man, when they start dishing the damage, it is a beautiful sight to behold. Ooh, hit him right in the keister. Oh yeah, good shots. One more good hit. One more good hit. There it is. Well, Bellacor has officially been renamed to Smellacor. He stinks. Um, there's nothing he can do to change our minds. Uh, Oath Golden Treasury is nice. Uh, we're going to probably end up taking attrition on this turn in, though, so I'll go ahead and take the little bit of... We might be able to get back into an encamp stance. Actually, we can. Thank goodness. There we go. I'm going to just kind of take my time, start moving back over to the Silver Tower of Sorcerers there. We can get some gemstones. Um, that should be nice. Blood Mountain needs to be retaken as well. Let's see. Lord not move. So Oldus... Needs to make room for Ulrika here in this army. And we're going to get rid of the Ekron Miners. That's definitely an optional unit there. And then I'm going to just double back towards these beast jerks that were down here. Yeah, we've got Tower of Flies and Port of Secrets now. So the beastmen are hiding somewhere down over here. We'll just continue to hunt them down and find them. We've got these newer armies uh, that we were messing with. This one, actually, dang, we did need that Thane. Shoot. I turned around and gave it away to someone. We might be able to recruit them from one of these settlements, actually. Yeah, like a uh, desolation. That looks like we can recruit a Thane there. Of course, that, that Thane that we just disbanded is not going to be available, so that was a mistake on my part. Let's see what's... Let's see what's available in these areas. Let's uh, go to Recruit Hero. Dang, yeah, we can't get any of those ones we had previously. Does it show them on the injured list? Yeah, it's nothing special. We've got a Rune Lord up there. I disbanded them, so I guess we can't get them back. Um, but let's think about this. We got this army headed that way. We've got a Rune Lord. Um, this army's not amazing, but it's got some tools at its disposal. It's kind of a hodgepodge one. Let's uh, let's maybe grab like a slayer, a dragon slayer here, and then probably a master engineer. Immune to psych. Sister of blood of Grungni. This Grimnir. Let's do the Grimnir one. Dragon slayer. And then can we grab a master engineer here? Yes, we can. Uh, we have some goblin hewers and other units in that, which would kind of make sense. Let's do that. There we go. We'll get a couple of units together to join in this particular army. Wow, we can't even make it down from there. That is so weird. I guess because all this is unmovable. That's probably why we couldn't make it up in there. That's kind of irritating. I'll get on it. All right, this army is also going to need some heroes. I might grab... It's funny, I just disbanded all these heroes and now... Well, I mean, to be fair, some of them were way too far away. Um, Agile. Charge defense. Let's do this one. I like the Agile. And then let's grab... Another hero if we can down here. Hero. I think we need master engineers in most all of the armies. There we go. Awesome. All right, so I've got heroes to add into these armies. Some of them have a couple of basic skill points right off the bat, which is fine. We'll take care of that. Thorgrim. Thorgrim's got all that stuff. We got High King. And we've got Elite Enforcer. Fire supports. Both gold from buildings. 
plus 10% faction wide when on map. What does that mean when on map? Oh, I guess maybe when we have them recruited. Let's see if that'll give us a nice boost to Oath Gold. Um, let's see, we finished that research that took our thousand Oath Gold. Let's go over here and do the Scrimnir's favor because we do have some Slayer armies going and upgrading those armies would be a lot of fun. This army hasn't moved. There is a vampire army trespassing our territory. Holy crap, that is seven Terrorgeist and five Mortis engines. A black coach of Argos. Like, what is this? Some kind of... I mean, this has got to be like trolling the dwarves. Now, we do have these goblin hewers. Assuming that we Terrorgeist don't land in them, our goblin hewers should be able to shred all those single entity targets, um, which would be pretty funny. Where are these guys coming from? I don't even know where their territories at or like why they're here. Uh, they're going to take attrition though too. I'm just going to move up close to them and try and back them up. And see what they do because I don't really have those armies completely ready to fight yet. We've got a decent bit of gold. Let's take a look through the world here. There's a lot of things that we could spend money on, many of which would be beneficial. Mainly looking for like empty building slots. So like right here, for instance, we can grab some more Oath Gold. Again here, let's go see what we're dealing with. We're in positive territory as far as public order goes. But we could go ahead and put a refectory here just to ensure that. And then like right here, we could take advantage of the iron. And then here we could drop in some more Oath Gold. At the... Karak Ungor. Usually I like to put defenses in here, um, but I'm actually going to tear that down and I'm going to swap that to Oath Gold. Same thing here. Let's tear this down, swap that to Oath Gold, swap that to Oath Gold. We're just going to really increase our Oath Gold production. I think it's what I want to do. There we go. Yeah, we're going to swap all those to Oath Gold. And then like here... Ashrak Slayer. I mean, again, we could put defenses there, but I don't really think we're going to need them long term. I'm just going to grab the Oath Gold. And again, this one, I mean, that's a lot of income. It's really cool. But again, I think I'm going to tear it down and swap it for Oath Gold production. I really want to cheese Oath Gold production everywhere I can. That's both of those can belong there, technically. Um, let's tear that down. Rebuilding there. These might be some kind of easy go gets here to increase our outputs um, with golds. Eagle Iris is probably going to get stomped by the ogres before I get over there. Let's just see what else. Path to the East, Southern Sylvania. Oh, they own Schwarzhofen? I half wonder if I should just pass that one off to like Kislev or something. I don't know. I think I'll just hand it off to Kislev. Let us discuss uh, trade settlement, Schwarzhofen. There you go. I'll just steal some of their money. There we go. Pose offer. You're welcome. It's kind of a weird one sitting out there on its own that I don't really want to have to take care of. All by itself. Tower of Crack still. Uh, let's tear that down and put Oath Gold there as well. And let's put some growth. And then maybe let's go ahead and try and rebuild the Tower of Crack. It's been a long time since we really messed with it. I feel like these buildings should be Oath Gold. But with Scars Nick around, it's not worth working on. Damage building also not worth working on right now. And then let's end our turn. Oh, we got this Nolengrom here. I think that's going to give us the Grudge Army, too. Settlement lost, settlement looted, confederation, ready for duty. Did that give us the Grudge Army? Does it spawn the Grudge Army? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he is. We, need to, we definitely need to get that thing that gives him more... Um, it gives them more units. Let's take the Grudge Army and we'll go... 
Let's go retake this settlement that's behind us. We'll use them for that. Not a, an amazing use for them, but we'll put them to use. Okay. And then let's go down here and punch Sigvald in the face again. Just come on down there. And then we can reach the Silvered Towers. So Sigvald is in very bad shape. Ooh, we're up over 400 Oath Gold per turn. Now we can just auto resolve this real quick too. We have nearly cleared out the entirety of the Northern Chaos Waste, which is pretty exciting. I need to rebuild the settlement. There we go. Um, so we're rebuilding settlements. Let's get Thorgrim. Let's get the High King. The High King acts. And let's see what else we want to grab here. Triangulation, Flash Bomb, Resolute. Our size, I guess. These aren't that big of a deal. Okay. Lord, not move. All right, so Oldest got his extra hero. Let's go down here and retake the Tower of Flies. Okay, we can see the Beastman army. It's headed towards the Crystal Spires. We'll just kind of clean up the mess along the way. And rebuild everything. We'll get to them here very soon. Ungrim's army needs to move, but it also needs to pick up this Slayer hero, or sorry, the Engineer hero that we've been bringing to them. And then we have the Slayer hero behind that, which we'll get here in a couple more turns. And then let's see what Karazakarak looks like. Still wants to kill off one of my Dwarf Warriors. You know what? Dwarf Warriors are no big deal. Um, let's just replace that with something better anyway. So let's go ahead and occupy Karazakarak so we can free this army up. We've sieged the Greenskins out long enough there. There's no reason to continue to draw out their inevitable destruction. See a bunch of buildings here that I don't really want there. Like that needs to be changed too. But the goblins are nearby, so I'm not going to mess with that. Keep for gyrocopters and bombers, all armies. Um, let's see. I mean, I'm going to build it because it's a special building. It's not really that amazing, but we'll build it nonetheless. We've got a couple of building slots we're tearing down. We can't build the old globe one until we tear down the other one. I think we should put a refectory in here, too. We might we might change a few more things, but it's not bad so far. Let's see, this army had two heroes coming to it. I'm going to move them up here closer to those heroes. I think, um... Let's put the Slayer into that army. What else we got here? Engineer... Thane Engineer. Let's get an Engineer into this army. So we got the Slayer Hero in there. Uh, this Ranger Great Weapon won't really be highly necessary. Let's yes. trade that Engineer in there. To speed us up. And then... Do we want to trade out here? Uh, just this Miner with Blasting Charges is going to be kind of useless. Let's get it. Thane in there. I suppose so. And what else do we want to trade out? We don't need a bunch of Iron Drakes. One of those is honestly probably plenty. Okay, there we go. So I got heroes into these armies, so they're going to be stronger now. And we are cranking out Oath Gold at a rather massive clip. Let's go find those buildings that we were tearing down so that we can continue to build up. We got the Bugman's Brewery there as well. That's awesome. Let's go find those empty building slots. Here is one. Let's so we're going to drop some oath gold there. Oath gold. Oath gold. So that'll be 30 more oath gold on the next turn. Uh, Carrot Katrin. Got the special building chain. I mean, honestly, I'm just going to oath gold this one as well. Drop some extra Oath Gold there. I mean, we're going to really start cranking out some Oath Gold. It's going to be like the Fort Knox of Oath Gold here. Um, oh, yeah. Looking good. Looking good. 
Let's rebuild that port and rebuild this settlement. Okay, how we doing? How we doing? Forced to decay. Let's just keep looking around here. Path to the east. Silver Road, Trollheim Mountains. All right, Tower of Crack. Let's put the defenses in there and then build that again. Okay, we used up a lot of our money. We still got a Lord that needs to move here. Let's... The vampires aren't really leaving. I moved up in their face hoping that we could convince them to leave, but since they don't want to, perhaps we should kill them? We cannot declare war on this faction. Is there some reason? Who are they? Lamian Sisterhood Vampire Counts. Why can't I declare war on them? Huh. Are they some kind of like rebel faction or something? Interesting. It must be a faction that was spawned for a specific purpose because it won't let me declare war on them and intervene with whatever is happening there. Well, I guess I'm going to ignore them and I'm going to head on down to... We got Ogre Town down here and we got Ogre Town out here. So we got two different spots that we need to arrive on and, and fight against the ogres. Let's pop under the mountain there. And then unassign skill points still. Let's work on Sapper, I guess. Take care of all these skill points here. Characters faction wise. This is Grom Brindle. Let's get a point in Mentor and maybe drop a point there as well. Who calls me? Aid Shield. Alright, that's going to be all of our skill points. So we've still got some money. It's going to want us to spend it on buildings. I just don't think that's entirely necessary at the moment. Armies have moved. Okay, outpost available. We don't need the outpost. There we go. All right, Skarsnik moved up to the Pillars of Grungni during the turn end. Not altogether unexpected. He's kind of surrounded. Uh, this army moved past Ungram and it's going to die. Um, pretty pleased to see them die. Just get rid of them there. It was just a small army following Skarsnik. Sigvald is now begging for peace. Of course, we won't give him any peace. He's going to be running around the Chaos Waste in his underwear, homeless and utterly lost. Look at this. It's going to give us a heroic victory here in the Auto Resolve. Sweet. So I'll get rid of that turd. I'm going to use the replenishment there so that he won't be able to just turn around and attack us again and then win. Um, so that is going to put us in a good position for this turn end. That Beastman's army just spawned another stack back there, annoyingly. Yeah, they've spawned another stack. Or is that the same stack? I can't tell if it's the same stack or a new one. Demon Slayer ready for duty. Um, let's move underground and keep these guys at bay. Like I can finish off Sigvald right here. I think this is his last settlement. Yeah, check it out. He's got uh, Festus that he brought in there. Um, let's take a look and see what this one looks like. Yeah, we'll go ahead and massacre these guys. We're going to head up and start shooting Festus. There's a Chaos War Shrine that'll be a tempting target there as well. Of course, we want to give Festus a steam bath. I mean, nothing short of fire, though, could purify this guy. And only at that point, if we just literally turned him into a charred pile of ashes, I think, could he ever be declared clean. And even then, maybe not. The ashes might still be putrid because he's just so nasty. Uh, I would imagine, depending on how he uses his abilities, he could potentially do a ton of healing. So if we are able to kill him, that'd be good. Fortunately for us, his armor is pretty low. Um, not that it would be a huge matter, because we do have armor-piercing capabilities with the... Gyrus, I believe he is trying to heal now. I'm not 
totally sure. Let's go ahead and let's spear up Grungni, that war, uh, sorcerer on the War Shrine. Get started on killing it as well. I do have cannons, but I've deployed them further back on the map. I didn't want to deploy them very far forward here, where it'd be easier for them to get into melee. You certainly don't want to end up in a melee with, like, demonettes and chaos warriors and, you know, spawn, all that kind of stuff. It's just not what you want to be wasting your effort on. All right, Fastus is getting absolutely wrecked. He's going to get turned into the Steam Lord here instead of the Leech Lord. We all know he needed a bath, though, and a hot steam bath at that. <laughs> all right, he's dead. Let's get that war shrine. I'm going to let the Thunder Barge just start unleashing hot death. All oh, crap. I moved my whole army. That is not what I wanted to do. Okay, um, let's go ahead and hold on. I think we can just say halt to all those units. There we go. Back those units up just a hair. And then let's get this army actually set up. Got some Slayer Pirates to kind of keep my army safe from behind. Like that. Uh, yeah, we got these. All right, perfect. All right, meanwhile, we can summon the Spirit of Grungni, which I think I'll save for the reinforcements. So, like, as soon as they come onto the map, I'm going to unleash the Spirit of Grungni all over them. Oh my gosh, man. We've already got 180 kills on the airship one here. I'm going to just dump my ammo into this Chaos War Shrine. It has a lot of hit points. It's actually quite difficult to kill. 188 climbing quickly. Yeah, 51 seconds before the Spirit of Grungni. Or sorry, before the reinforcements arrive. And like I said, the Spirit of Grungni will be waiting on it. <laughs> Look at the absolute carnage. Chaos is going to wish they had more missile units and less bikini demons on sky side chariots and stuff here. It's not going to work out well for them. 20 some odd seconds left. And that war shrine is... Man, that thing is tough. I have cranked so much firepower into it and it is still ticking there. That airship is just absolutely decimating the enemy there. 256 kills. War Shrine is down to its last thousand-ish hit points. That thing just has a ton of hit points. All right. Let's send in the welcome wagon. Here comes the Spear to Grungni. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, I toggled those to not fly. That's not good. Did they get tangled up in melee immediately? Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I hit the hot button. I think it was like the L key or something, and it made my gyros land, or it looked like it made them land. Maybe it didn't. Maybe I hit some other hot key. I don't know what it was. Oh, that was stupid. All right, anyway, keep whooping up. Oh, my gosh, the spirit of Grumney taking a dump all over these guys. They do have a Marauder Horseman there. It's going to be a little bit frustrating. But nevertheless, this thing has a target-rich environment right now. It's already up to 60 kills. And I would imagine that number is going to rise markedly over time. I think I'm going to spear that loser. Ooh, that was a good spear. And he is now going to rout. Did we kill? I, I hope we actually killed the war shrine. I didn't pay attention. I don't see its desiccated corpse sitting over there, unfortunately. I think I'm out of ammo on the gyros. Let's send them back home to pick up some ammo. Um, oh, this airship. Spirit of Grugni. 128 kills. I'm going to just keep the airships all over these guys. Again, they do have a Marauder Horseman here, so we will take some damage, but the airship has a ton of hit points. It can heal. Just no real reason to uh, let off any pressure. Let's pull these gyrocopters alongside Malachi. I can use this, um, the Persuader. I can heal this one up a little bit. Well, maybe it'll heal. It may not take any hit points. It depends on 
how they got damaged, but it'll also restock ammunition on them while it's working. So, and then we also have, uh, we don't have restocks with him, which kind of sucks. His, I, I, th I guess it's because he has the Persuader, he didn't get the restocks. Uh, but that, that's a cool feature too, don't get me wrong, like the ability to heal and add ammunition is certainly, certainly nice. It's appeared to grind me up to 218, 429 on Airship 1. Like I said, we are taking damage, but there's just no reason whatsoever for me to lay off the pressure on on these guys. Oh, those cannons getting those Seeker Chariots. That's good stuff. I hate Seeker Chariots. They are unfortunately effective, like most chariots against dwarves. Airship 1's up to 476, 249. Brutal efficiency here. I might spear these Marauder Horsemen real quick, see if we can kill a few of them. Point blank spearing, if it'll fire. Yep, there it goes. Didn't do a ton, but we killed a few of their horsemen. If we can route that unit, that'd be good, because it's really the only thing causing me any damage. Yeah, just a devastating artillery and thunder barge barrage going on here. Now, remember, we can do that battle, and it says it's going to give us special ammunition for the cannons on our thunder barges as well, which that would be super fun. There we go. Looks like this army is about to break. But they no, they don't have any spawn, so they are broken, and that's going to be the end of Sigvald here, I think. We have 569 and 324 kills. I mean, just look at the, you can tell exactly where the enemy army came from. I just follow the path of corpses back to where they were because the airship just leaves the trail of destruction. It is amazing. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. Just gruesome destruction of chaos. I love it. That is definitely the way that I want it to be. I think that's going to be all the time I have for this particular episode. We are going to occupy the fortress here. There's nothing they can do to stop me, so we take over another main settlement. We picked up a potion of healing and we destroyed the decadent host. So there is not a whole lot of chaos left in the chaos waste, except for what over here is near the Great Bastion. I'll have to deal with it eventually. Um, but I think that's going to leave us in a good position. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end the turn, or sorry, end the video here. I will see you all soon with some more action in Total War Warhammer 3. And we'll continue to follow the adventures of Malachi. We're not far away from Nagarond here. We might end up with an invasion of Nagarond, which would be hilarious. Our allies just can't seem to finish the deal here in the Norskin area here, up the mountains of Nagalfari. Like they just can't seem to push the Norskins out for some reason, which really shouldn't be hard at this point. I've gotten rid of pretty much every other enemy. And look at this, Franz has all these armies. Like, this should not be a battle still ongoing, in my opinion. So they need to finish these guys off. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Heir of Carthage, signing out.